Well, this engine bottom end is the one that uh, the crank has been seen in previous videos and when I took it out of this bottom end originally when I started it had um, 0.65 of a millimetre run out on the main shafts on the crank which is about 27 thousandths of an inch or thereabouts. I've split the crank and um, removed the old Indian Conrod, a bit of the British one in its place which I've polished up and put a new floating bush in just uh, to make sure all is well. The old floating bush wasn't worn out but uh, when you split a crank you put a new bush in at the very least so I've done that and put the crank back together and trued it up and in my last video I showed that we had no more than two and a half thousandths of an inch run out on it and it's now in the crank cases and I'm very pleased with it because it spins so freely and bear in mind we've got an oil seal there and an oil seal around that side which create a little bit of drag I suppose I can push the conrod down like that let go and it comes back push it down the other way let go it comes back and it is just so easy to spin right over. Then we go around the bottom, let go. Oh, there we are. Look at that. There's absolutely no drag on that crank at all. So it's running nice and smoothly and freely in the main bearings. So they'll get a good life. They're also uh, European bearings. Uh, they've been. Uh, the old Indian ones were taken out and these were put in. So we've got a very, very good bottom end there. And I'm pretty sure it will run a lot more smoothly than it would have done originally with the uh, 27 thousandths of an inch run out on the main shafts. So it's now got less than a tenth of that. So, uh, well, way less than a tenth actually. I think we're, uh, yeah, where we are. 27 thousandths of an inch, we've now got yeah, two and a half thousandths of an inch, so maximum. So that's a great reduction. And obviously, the crank spins freely, that'll make for a happy engine, happy main bearings, happy bike, and hopefully, happy owner as well. Another one ready to go, just about. Just got to put the timing side back together, all the cams in, and so on and um, that'll be ready to go home because it was just the bottom end that came here anyway so another job done